about Chase Johnson that she had 19 and 15 and she's managed to miss a couple layups. And, um, you know, it's just been so fun coaching her and, and uh, how competitive she is and how what she expects of herself. And, you know, I really challenge some of our younger kids to, to take on that demeanor themselves. And I thought that Michelle Woods and, and Saray McGuire really are coming along in that area. And they're really learning so much from Janice and, and how to play and how to compete and how to stay composed but play fast. And, and uh, it's nice to see those, those two bright spots kind of come along for us. So um, I was pleased with that. And um, we just got to, you know, keep working through this roster. And, and it's going to change, you know, matchup to matchup and, and where our strengths lie and what the other team's given us. But the one consistent thing has been and will continue to be Shanice Johnson. So uh, I thought that was, she absolutely made sure we went for that. That early run, 17-1, you know, what clicked at, at that point? You know, we were, we were digging through our bag of tricks a little bit. We went small, then we went big, and we went back to small. And I think the second time we went that small lineup, we had some wind and moved the ball. I, I you know, I, I thought we'd have more info to assist. I thought we had really nice ball movement, but we missed a lot around the basket. And Clemson's good at that. I mean, you know, they, I think they're up in their conference and block shots. It's not like they get in the air and block it, but they really do stuff you. And, and so we had some beautiful looks that didn't, Converted to points, but as a coach, you're sort of happy that your offense, you know, got those opportunities. So, but we got to get better as individuals, as we talk about locker room. Like, you know, we do. And um, I thought that we played a decent team game, but then there were individual things you just got to finish and you know, getting there that were not great. What was the nature of Williams' injury and how yeah, serious is it? Yeah, they're taking some precautionary looks at it, um, you know, because anytime it's a head and neck. So um, we had three doctors in the locker room just now. I mean, in the training room. So, um, you know, we'll know more. But, uh, you know, they're, they're concerned, so we'll see. She hasn't been taking any medication. She's right out in the hallway right now, though. We're waiting, we're waiting here. Well, you can't diagnose those in the training room, so right. we're just waiting here. When you talk about the physical play, obviously, is that player a lot of fouls? Yeah, it was very physical. And it's a crept in Clemson. You come in with all these young kids and, and come at us like that. And, um, you know, that's ACC ball. And obviously, we need it. Um, I think on that particular play, it was three Miami kids plowing into each other. So yeah. I know I, I'm not concerned or, or whatever, but I'm, I'm saying that you got a bunch of young kids that don't have as much, they'll grow into their bodies, but they're a little bit thin and they really came after us. So good. I mean, we handled it. And, and um, you know, one by 21, an ACC game, we'll take it. Michelle Woods got a lot of units tonight. She sure did. It's, um, how do you think she handled that? And is that a trend that's yeah. continuing? We, you know what? It, Who's ever practicing the best gets minutes, and and throughout the course of a six-month season, it changes, you know. And that's why I say I'm so blessed with the consistency I've had with my seniors because the other ones, you know, kind of ebb and flow and cycle through. And um, but with, without question, I thought Michelle and Soraya have been practicing great, and so we went to them early. And, and uh, Michelle Woods has a great mind. She's a very very smart basketball player, good instincts, and so. And she's one for seven. We're sitting there talking about how great she played. And that's what I said. I mean, it happens to that, but one for seven doesn't cut it. So get better as an individual, but we're awful proud that you're, you're, you're kind of fighting your way up to, to get more minutes. Which was the player that went to the floor with uh, Williams on the collision? That I don't know. Yeah. 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 It, was, uh, it looked like the collision was just all of them hustling. Yeah, which was great. It's basketball. I mean, it happens, and especially the way we play where, you know, that, what was that? Four possessions in a row, it was bam, 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 bam. The bigger team scored and it just kept going, going. I mean, the ball's flying in the air. Kids are blind, you know, catching it. We're trapping and pressing and, you know, you run into people. So, um, yeah, but Shelly Woods is, she's tough. She's tough. Is that William Stalker out on the court or there's a civilian out there? Doctor. That's Doctor. Doctor. Shanice, you know, 12 point second half, you know. First half seems to be more facilitator. You were down there, you know. Did you change your approach at all in the second half, especially after Raquana went out? Yeah, coach just came to the locker room and said, we need to be better. Um, we need to play tougher. Um, go to the rim. Don't look for no calls because we weren't getting any. So um, she just she asked me, asked us to change our whole mindset. Um, I think that every shot's going in. That's exactly what I meant. So we just had to get a little bit tougher. Chase, you're a 5'11 guard. You, got, you managed 15 rebounds today. Um, you had team's leading rebounder. What, <laughs> What drives you to go in there with the, uh, all the bigs and, and go get the boards? Um, I enjoy rebounding. Uh, I try to watch the fight of the ball. I like to look at where it's going before I just try to go around and go get it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I want the ball. So whoever wants it is going to get it. <laughs>
How important was it to focus on this game? You've got a big one coming up on Wednesday. You being a senior, maybe the younger players maybe were maybe already thinking ahead to Wednesday night. No, I don't think so. No. Um, we had a week to prepare and get Miami better. Um, and as Coach said previously, we're trying to work on our individual game and, and collectively and bring it together. Um, I don't think we were, or the youngins were looking ahead. I think they did a great job of just coming out, staying focused, and getting to the rim, staying confident. show up to your next game, you know, I mean, you kind of get flat and whatever, which I thought we played, but, um, you know, it's good in the long run. It, we needed fresher legs. I mean, everybody, we, we had such a stretch there. We were just playing three games a week, week after week after week, and we celebrated that break. I mean, we, we, and we did something like we called Camp Miami and just kind of got our fundamentals better and handling and passing. I mean, we had a lot of turnovers tonight, but some of them were like illegal screens or, you know, not really turnover, like a bad pass type deal. So, um, but then you come and you put it back all together, and then, you know, we, we were a little bit off. But um, like I said, I'm not going to complain about a 21-point ACC win. It was the team that Clemson had, has beaten North Carolina this year at North Carolina. So you know, that's the ACC, and we, we're happy with it. Next game is Wednesday in the same building against North Carolina, the team that beat you last time yeah. you guys lost. Is there a sense of revenge? Or we have more? There's a sense of urgency, like, we have something to show because we didn't play as well as we should have down there. Um, but they're a great team. It's not like we laid an egg. I mean, it's North Carolina. We, we lost at North Carolina and had a shot at the end. I mean, it was a very close game. So we're not sitting here like we haven't circled it on our calendar and said, oh, my God, we got to get that one back. But we love playing great teams, and we sure like playing them here. And we need a big crowd because we really do like playing story programs on our home court and, and, and the crowd getting fired up for us. And we're going to need them. All right, guys, thank you.